them inside. They're going to get gas. No, that's not here. You've got plenty of time, but we're not going to have a hold up here if we can possibly help it. They're using gas on Washington Avenue. Well, let's let them in. Now, they got tickets. It's just calm and easy, slow and easy. Take it easy, please. Take it easy, please. There's plenty of time. Nothing to worry about. Let's try to keep it slow and easy, one at a time. Nothing to worry about. Never wash your face or your eyes with water. The thing to do is to take a little bottle full of vinegar, apple vinegar, and wipe it with it. And also take a handkerchief and wet it with vinegar. You hold it like this. And never wipe it. Never, never put your hands to it. Run away from it. Uh, it was taught this in Northern Ireland. And take a handkerchief full of apple, just plain grocery store vinegar. Anything. And, and you can wash your eyes with that, and you can also breathe into it. It makes a world of difference. Stopped our bus about six blocks away, and we had to literally bite our way in through the, through the crowds. And he was one of our men that had a little casualty there with his clothes. The head of our delegation is still outside in the mob. They're still stuck outside our bus. The tires were all slashed. They unhooked the gas and threatened to light the bus at fire. If we didn't leave within two minutes, we walked seven blocks to get in. Uh, notice at all, whether you were a lady or a man, they come right in attacking everybody, regardless of who it was. Throwing eggs and everything. If we had one thing to be thankful for, they are at this point essentially nonviolent but they are in a mood that they can turn violent just that quick. Some of the delegates have been coming back in and right. their glasses are shattered and their faces are bleeding. And if they can do that, they're disrupting our system. If they don't like it, they can work within the system to change it. But they're interfering with our rights when they're doing this. And they, they don't have any right to do this. And I think they just ought to t take the National Guard and turn it loose on them right now. I think that's what they're here for. We, that's we what they might end be used up, on. We might end up with a, a something akin to Kansas State on a larger scale, but it would be worth it. One of them said they're over there killing them in Vietnam, and we can't even walk the streets. They were not considering the fact that we couldn't walk them either at that well, point in time. The troops should be brought in right now, and they've quieted down and moved off the streets and brought so, back into so law. The law. people that can be protected can be safe that we can leave here without fear of our lives. We are here it, now, but we don't know how we're going to get home. I mean, back to our hotel tonight. And if that's only an indication of the, the violence of the peak that they want to achieve, then, then, then God help the people that are still outside.
Oh, okay. Good to see you again. We won a pretty good battle today. Good day. Right. I was on the rules committee, and you did a terrific job for us today. It was wonderful. Well, listen, I'm glad to be on the same side with you. Hello there. How are you? Good to see you. Four more years! 